Unlike a lot of other frameworks, um, in Laravel, you can't have direct access to controllers. Instead, you have to reach them through routes. Okay, And since we have been working on routes in a couple previous videos, let's see how we can use them to gain access to controllers. Okay, So there are mainly two ways you can um, use a route to gain access to a controller. So you can gain access to a controller method directly, or you can create a resource route. Okay. So let's um, deal with the first instance, uh, okay? So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to create a controller, a presence controller, okay? So you do that, go to your terminal, just clear that out quickly. So let's say PHP artisan, and I'm just follow through with me what artisan is, and you'll get familiar with it as we're carrying on. Um, in a nutshell, artisan um, is the control command line utility that Laravel uses for certain functions like creating controllers and um, a whole bunch of other stuff, very quick. Okay, so it just takes the grunt work out of doing those things. So we'll say PHP adds and make, so type controller, and then um, what's the controller name? We'll say person, just controller. Okay, so we'll just press enter, and obviously I am not in the right directory. So I'll just say cd, Laravel, Laravel 5, so I'll just type that again, php artist and make controller persons. And as you can see, it created that successful. Just show you that it created it. So we've got the persons here. So as a um, rule of thumb, actually I want to bring your attention to this, it's good to name your controllers like this, persons controller. So instead of just persons, we um, append the controller at the end of it. Okay, so I'll just rename this to persons controller. Rename to persons controller. Okay, so we are good to go. All right, so this does not have any methods. Let's just add one there. Public function, let's say um, people. Okay, and this function just returns an empty array for now. Okay, save that. So inside our route, if we want to gain access to this people method inside the presence controller, all we have to do is, um, let's comment all of this out. We just have to do route. Let's get out of the um, group prefix here. So we'll just do route. Get, if you remember from the route video, get is um, using the get HTTP verb. So we'll just say slash people. And we're going to pass in an array here, say uses. And what does it use? It uses the presence controller. And uh, which method? Uses the people method. So just to recap again, we pass in an array with the property of uses to say which controller it's going to use and which method um, on that controller it's going to use. So presence controller and the people method. So let's go back in our browser and we go to the people. URL here and we should see that empty array. So as you can see we've been returned that empty array. Let me just change that to something else so you see that it's hitting that controller method. So we'll just say person one, person two. I'll just save that, go back to the browser, refresh as you can see person one, person two. Okay. Alright, so now that we have dealt with the first case of controller you said. Let's deal with the second case, which is a resource controller or resource route. Okay, so um, if you remember from the last um, few seconds, we did create a controller using PHP artisan and make controller presence. Um, and, and I did say that it's good convention to do something like this um, to append controller at the end of your controller names. So let's create another controller called um, users controller. But this time we're going to pass in a flag called resource. You'll see the difference why we did that. Okay, so we created the users controller. And if you look at the controllers folder here, you will see that we have created a controller called users controller. But this time it's not an empty controller, it has a lot of methods inside it. So what are these methods? So basically these are the resource methods. So what a resource is, is that um, it aligns with the uh, four verbs of HTTP, that is 
create, read, update, and delete. Okay, so I will just show you quickly what that means. But before we go any further, let's just list the routes that our application currently has. So we'll say PHP artisan routes. I did make a mistake in spelling artisan, so I'll just say artisan routes. Apparently, it's not routes, it's route list. Okay, so that lists all the routes that we have in our application. And this first route here, slash, is the one that comes by um, with the application by default, and it's this one here. And the second one is the people route that we created. Okay, so let's create a resource route. So, how do you do that? We just say route resource. And the first um, parameter here is the URL, so we say users, and we pass an array, just like we did in the first instance here. So we say users, but this time, instead of saying that we want to use one um, controller action, we're going to just pass in the controller name, users controller. So since we said resource, we expect a lot of routes to be created. So now, before we um, do anything else let's list the routes again so as you can see we have an error and the reason for that is we shouldn't have used uses here because we're not referring to a single um, controller method so we just pass in the controller name as a string sorry about that my bad um, so now let's list the routes again as you can see a whole bunch of other routes have been created so at first we had just the forward slash, the base route, and the people route. But now because of that resource we created, we had a whole bunch of other routes. So there's one for storing users, one for listing a list of users, and um, one for creating users, and one for deleting users. And there's other verbs here which are not that pretty much used. Um, put is the one that's more famous, but patch is used, um, and it's almost the same as put. So you can pretty much ignore that. Um, all these other verbs as well, head and um, another head. Okay, so just to have an idea of which routes map to which controller method, so you can see the URI here that is for slash users, and it's if we post to that URL, it corresponds to the store method here. And if we just do a get request on that URL, it corresponds to the index here. So let me show you what I mean in a moment. Okay, so let's go to the users controller. And inside the index here, we're going to say return. Um, let's just say user1, user2, and we save that. Let's go back in our browser. So instead of people, we say users. And as you can see, it hit that controller method, and we've been returned this array here, converted to JSON automatically for us. A lot of it does that in the background for you. Any array that you return, it could pass that automatically into JSON for it. Okay. So next, um, let's just try something a little bit more fancy, and we send requests to this URL here. So it's the same URL, but instead of doing a GET request, we're going to do a POST request. Okay. So let me just copy it quickly, and let's go Postman, and um, I'll just pass in the URL here. So let's not pass in an ID because when you're creating a user, you pretty much don't want to pass an ID. So let's say title or say username and um, we'll say name and say age. We'll pretty much put there some random age, say 39. I'm not 39, but uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's send this post request. Um, if you remember, you said the post to post. Sorry, the get method. Sorry. We set the HTTP verb to post, and then we send the request. All right. So now if we send that, we don't get anything. And that's because in the store method here, we did not do anything there. So if you remember from other videos, um, the request class here, has a, a lot of functions that you can use to get access to request um, variables. So we say a request, and we'll say all. And that's pretty much gets of everything that we have sent to this URL here. Let's do send, and we have an error. So 
Okay, I made a mistake in spelling return. Return. <laughs> okay, T U R N. All right, so that should pretty much work now. All right, as you can see, we did send username Lamin and age of 39. All right, so what happens if we wanted to access just one of those um, parameters? So we can do only, and we can do username. And that would give us just one. So the username, and we can do age as well. And um, send it, we get the age. And you can do it like this as well. If we had, let's say, five, and you wanted to get two of those parameters, we can say username, and um, send. And um, that's pretty much it. So yeah, that's how you um, use controllers with Laravel. That is pretty much the basics. There's a whole bunch of stuff that controllers are useful for as well, like redirecting to other um, controller actions or returning a view. And we're going to cover all those in later videos to come. All right, thank you for watching. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.